This past week, I had the pleasure of going to Seahawks training camp for three days. During my time there, I met some players, did some interviews, and was able to observe practices up close and in person for the first time. It was awesome. I say that because one of the standout players from camp on Friday, just two days before the Seahawks took on the Chargers, was wide receiver Cason Williams. Here are two tweets that I sent out where he made two spectacular catches, pretty much back to back with Russell Wilson and Trevon Boykin. Well, not only did Williams have a good few days of training camp, but he carried that over to the Sunday's game. He put up a monster performance, catching all four passes thrown his direction, totaling 119 receiving yards. Just like in practice, Williams showed his mastery of the sideline fade route on all four receptions. With his 6'3", 217-pound body, he showed a vertical prowess and body control over multiple Chargers defenders. Now, the mechanics of the fade route seem relatively simple, but the most important thing you need to know is that you have to win on the release. And that's exactly what Kaysen did for all these throws. When a defender was up at the line of scrimmage, he took a stutter jab step release to get up the sideline. Using his right hand, since he was on the left sideline, he fought away any punch by the defender. This allowed him to get the separation and up the field just enough to be given a chance on these throws. At the point of the catch, he twisted and contorted his body to snag the balls out of the air. On his third reception that happened in the third quarter, he even showcased his strength to wrestle the ball out of a defender's hands. Rewinding back to the 2015 NFL Draft, Williams actually went undrafted out of Washington. This happened because he had serious medical red flags and wasn't even cleared by the Cincinnati Bengals, who signed him as an undrafted free agent. He then went on to sign with the Seahawks last season and spent most of the year on the practice squad and didn't even see the field until Week 17 when Tyler Lockett was placed on injured reserve. Well now, the Seahawks receiving core is even more crowded than it was last year. They have Doug Baldwin, Jermaine Kearse, Tyler Lockett, Paul Richardson, and now newly drafted Amar Darbo out of Michigan. All five of these guys should earn roster spots going into the season. Since the team will realistically carry six wide receivers, it's up to him to win the final roster spot over guys like Tanner McAvoy, who also helps out on special teams. Needless to say, it's going to be a tough road. While I can't guarantee you'll earn a spot on the active roster, he's shown enough in the first preseason game to make Pete Carroll and the Seahawks coaching staff seriously consider him going forward. Well, that's it for this video. I'm still planning my Aqib Talib and Chris Harris video this coming Friday. Definitely be on the lookout for that. And if you want to support this channel, go ahead and follow the link to my Patreon account. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel R. Gold.